We all want to be fitter, stronger, and maybe even that bit faster. And during these winter months, it's the perfect opportunity to get in the gym and work on some strength training. It's also an opportunity to hide away from those wintry conditions. Now, I thought, why don't we get a bodybuilder in to see if he can teach us some top tips to work on our leg strength, and hopefully that can transfer into cycling performance. So it's about time we meet our resident bodybuilder. No, no, it's like pain. Now, you might have met this guy already in the last video when we put a bodybuilder versus a cyclist, and this time he's back for more. It's Brad. I'm back for more, you're back for more, you mean? Yeah, what do you What think? are you doing with all this, eh? Well, I got ready for a bodybuilding. Workout. Yeah, you don't need these. And you don't need those dumbbells either. Right, Not so. just yet. I mean, it was a good effort. Right, it's about time we get into this workout, don't you think? Yeah, let's go train some legs. Let's go. Legs. Legs. Not, uh, not, not hands. Right, stretch as fast. <laughs> So now we've got Brad. Brad, before we get onto the weights, there's an important aspect that we need to make sure we do, isn't there? Yeah, so before uh, sort of any session, I like to make sure we're stretched out a little bit, make sure those muscles are nice and you know, supple and ready to start working. So, leg stretches? Yeah, so we'll start off with our legs. Um, there's a few, a few stretches I like to do. Um, so first I like to stretch on the inside of my leg here. I like to stretch my quads, stretch my hamstrings and stretch my, down by my glutes, okay? So the first one, we're gonna take a lunge. Deep lunge. Yeah. Back leg, your knees on the floor. Yep. And then just lean into it. And you should feel that right on the inside of your groin there. Yeah? Oh yeah. So that's both, both legs, the front of that one and the inside of that one. And how, how long do you sit in this? Maybe sort of 20, 30 seconds. So. That's it, swap over the other one. So next one, we're gonna stretch our quads, yeah? So same as you, well, you've probably seen hundreds of times before. One leg up, yeah? And just stretch, put it into you. Pull that foot, rear foot into your, into your bum and stretch your uh, quad out. So next one, we're gonna stretch our hamstrings. So, you know, neutral stance. And bend down and touch your toes. Bloody hell, Brad. Come on, I thought you meant to be a, a cyclist and you know, yep. stretch your legs. K I was retired, Brad. Yeah? You get your hands on the floor? Yeah! Jesus Christ. You feel that in the hamstrings, do you? Yeah? yeah, I feel that Up right. Here? Yeah, right there. Excellent. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and as I showed you, um, as I said just now, we're going to stretch our. Um, up through our glutes and hamstrings. So same stats, kick the toes out to one side. Um, so take your left hand down onto the inside of your foot and raise that right hand up and look up as well. And with that one, you should feel the stretch all down through the, the back of your glute here and hamstring, yeah? Yeah. Okay, let's go to the other side. So exactly the same, but in, in the, in, on the right hand side instead. Okay, right, so we'll do that for a couple of rounds. So three, then, uh, three rounds, I guess? Two or three rounds, yeah, and then we'll uh, start working. Right, let's get to it, warm up. So Brad, we've now done our stretching, yep. so uh, what's next? So what we'll do now is I'll take you through a, uh, a sort of a leg workout that hopefully you can do in almost any gym. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna work every part of our legs, hopefully in this, in this one session, okay? Yeah. So uh, what I'd like to do is start with your quadriceps. Yep. And for that, we're gonna go, go on to the uh, leg extension. Perfect. Okay. Do you wanna go first or do you want me to go first? I'll go first and show you what to do, yeah? <laughs> Sounds good. So Brad, when we're looking at you know, how many reps to do and what weight to do, what would you suggest? Okay, so uh, a good starting point, I would suggest around the eight to 12 rep range yeah. uh, for, for strength training and, and muscle size. 
Um, so work up to a weight that you can maybe hit 10 reps on, and then I would do maybe three sets of that of that weight. Yeah. Okay. And then do, do I keep it controlled? So like fast up and then slow down or? Yeah, so you, uh, you, you can't go too far wrong if, if you drive up yeah. and then control the negative gradually, okay? Yeah. Yeah, so you don't want to be letting that weight just fly down and, and hit the bottom. Um, you want to control it on the way down and explode up. There you go. Oh, my legs. Bloody <laughs> hell, don't do that. How'd that feel? Yeah? Pretty good. I think you're on about 27 and a half kilos there. What, what would you do? I don't know, yeah, should we have a look? Yeah, should we have a look? Oh, my legs. Okay then, so exactly the same as what you did. Yeah. I'm gonna aim to drive the weight up. Yeah. And control the negative, yeah? Let's see how I get on. What weight are you on there, sorry? Um, well, it's not actually written on there, but it's all of it, which I think you can't really go any further than that. Right. Right, so we've managed to find the leg press machine. What happens here and talk us through it, Brad? Yeah, so obviously you probably recognise it from the last video we did. Yeah, where um, I sat on top, just, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's the one. This is a slightly different to the one we used before. Obviously, there's hundreds of different types of leg presses. Every gym's probably got a different one. So um, the so most important thing each time is to get familiar with the machine first and then obviously uh, build up the weight from there. Yeah. So um, yeah, what we're doing, you know, sit in the ass in the seat, feet on the plate, yeah? Slightly lower if you're gonna aim for more quad work, slightly higher if you want to more, work more towards your hamstrings and glutes. Okay. Um, today we're using more sort of neutral stance, um, and then press. So same as the other exercises, control the down, explode up. Right, Brad, so what are we looking at in regards to weight and reps then? Okay, so... Uh, as a good starting point, we'll aim for the same as the last machine. So we'll aim for three sets of 10 to 12 reps, or eight, eight to 12 reps, uh, on a weight that you're just about sort of reaching failure by, by that 10th, 11th rep, for okay. example. One thing I will mention about your reps themselves, again, making sure we're controlling it on the way down, but the key is not to let your bum lift off of the seat on, okay. the, on, the, uh, on the stretch there, because yeah. um, that's actually quite bad for your lower back. Um, and to also get that depth, sometimes you have to bow your legs out and around your body, which again is not very good on your hips. The whole so, point of this exercise is to train our legs. So, so control, control it down, so there, that's it. And then drive up. So do you see what I was saying about the, the depth, yeah. yeah? So if I come down, my full depth is there. Yeah. That's for my quads, yeah? To come any deeper, I'm having to risk my lower back by yeah. lifting my bum up out of the seat and opening my legs up to come around my body. You don't really want to be doing that. So making sure we keep in very good form every rep, yeah? So doing our, doing our training as safe as you possibly can. You're a legend. So next up is an exercise I think a lot of cyclists would have seen before, and this is the squat, and this is with free weights, isn't it? Yeah, so this is with a barbell on our back yeah. squat. Um, what I'm going to do is show you how to do it inside of a rack. Yeah. Because obviously, uh, if you're training on your own, then um, you want that element of safety as well. So, yeah, let's get under the let's bar. Let's get under it. Let's get under it. So what we've done is we've set the bar up um, at about the right height, so we can get under it on our back, and we can stand up and get away from the uh, from the rack there. And the next thing we want to do is set the uh, the safety bar rails. Yeah. Yeah. So this is for us if we come to the bottom and we fail at the bottom. We don't have too far to go uh, before it falls off our to back. Drop the weight, yeah. yeah. Right, so what we want to do is um, initially take a fairly neutral grip, yeah. Duck in under the bar so that the bar's on our back. And you want to be pulling that bar into your back so you're locking it in, yeah. And stand up, yeah. Now, everybody's different with their flexibility and mobility on this one. What I like to try and do is keep the elbows forward bar locked into our back, so everything up top is completely solid, yeah? Neutral stance, again, and down. How far down to there, to, to perpendicular to the floor? Everybody's range of motion is different, different, so obviously this is where we need to work out what works for you. 
But as you see there, my back is straight, heads up, yeah? And my arms are still in the same place. And then drive up, okay? That looked quite good. So what we'll do to start with is uh, put 20 kilos each, each side. So with the bar, that's 60 kilos. Okay, let's see how we get on. How many reps do you want, Brad? Well, same again, we're aiming for maybe eight to 12 reps, okay? okay? Take your time, get yourself in position cor correctly, yeah? Lock yourself into the bar. And up. So remember keeping that back straight, head up, deep breath each time. And down, control it. Up, good. Deep breath. And breathe out on the way up, that's it. Breathe in at the top. Good, come on. Starting to get heavy. Easy, Brad. Good. Walk in the park. Let's have one more then. <laughs> 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 and up. Good. Walk all the way in. That's it, and down. What kind of muscles and how is this going to help a cyclist? So this is what's known as a compound exercise. It's basically working almost the full body. Yeah. Um, so using your, your core stability, um, you know, your, your upper body strength as well, as well as primarily your, your, your leg strength. You know, yeah. This is going to help build the muscle, give you that explosive power and strength in the, in the legs. So it's something that you want to work on once, twice a week maybe? Um, I, would, yeah, I would suggest once a week maybe uh, as, a, as, a, as a general guide. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then if you feel that you can do more, do more. Um, but uh, yeah, this is uh, like a, a staple exercise for most people in, in on the leg day. <laughs> nice one. I think it's about to be your turn. <laughs> so next exercise, we're hitting the runway. But what does that entail and how does it work the legs? Okay, so what we're gonna do here is uh, a walking lunge. Yeah. yeah, I like to do this towards the end of a workout when oh, everything's nice and warm, yeah. supple, and we don't need to use a lot of weight yeah. to actually you know, uh, work the muscles really well. I actually prefer to do a, a full walking lunge, yeah? So it'll be down, up, and straight through to another lunge. So you're actually driving through that rear, front yeah, and rear that leg. That's quite good, to be fair. Okay. So we're going to aim for. 20 paces, yeah? So 10 on each leg. Perfect. Okay. So that's one. Let's go, come on. Try not to drag that rear foot, okay? Good, and again. Using that front leg to drive up and the rear leg to push off, come on. Yes! <laughs> Wasn't quite 20. No. <laughs> <laughs> Last but not least, the one thing that we haven't worked yet in regards to leg exercise and leg muscles is our calves, which Classic. is a which is a huge thing in cycling. It's enabling you to pull up on the pedal stroke. Mm -hmm. So how do we work them out in the gym? Okay, so uh, I'll show you an exercise that hopefully that you'll be able to do in almost any gym uh, yeah. or even home environment. So we want to make sure we've got a, a, a raised platform that we can rest our toes on and actually do a, a calf raise. Yeah. In this case, we're going to use a, a weight plate up against the rack so we've got something to hold on to. So what we're going to do is put our toes on the plate, holding on to the rack for stability if need to, and calf raise. And then, okay, would you just up. do that with body weight and then? So start off with body weight initially, yeah? Yeah. See how it feels. And we can increase the weight by holding on to our weight in our other hand. So there you have it. I've just done all of Brad's top workouts and I enjoyed them, mate. Yeah, it was good yeah? fun. Good. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for having me on the channel again. It was, uh, You're more than welcome. Really good. If yeah. you want to see Brad back on the channel, let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. <laughs> and uh, well, if you want to look like this, <laughs> that I nicked off Carl, who owns the gym, then uh, well, you know what to do. Keep working out. Yeah, it might take a while for you to get one of them, but. You do you know. not think I look like that? Uh, one day. Maybe one.